Hey everyone, I'm Amber. And I'm Jasmine. And together we're SIS Stellar Image Studios. Today we're going to show you how we incorporate stellar motion graphic templates from the Adobe Stock Library into our videos. And we're going to introduce you to Stone, one of our employees, and how he incorporates those motion graphic templates into our videos, specifically lower thirds. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our content series with Adobe Stock. Today I have my colleague Stone joining us. Hello. How do you feel about joining this tutorial series today? I am really excited to be here and I'm ready to pour out some knowledge today. Me too, so let's dive in and get started. Here we are at the Adobe Stock homepage. What we're looking for today are some motion graphics templates. So we're gonna go up here to this templates tab and click it. As you can see, a few options do show up, but we are focusing on the motion graphics today, so we're gonna click on the motion graphics option. From the start, it will already pull up all kinds of options for you to look through and choose from. The one thing that I really appreciate about the Adobe Stock Library is that once you find the piece that you want, the motion graphic template that you want, you can download that and open it in After Effects or Premiere Pro depending on the template you choose. But I just really love having the option to open it up in multiple applications. Today we are gonna focus in Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro has some really cool new features that we wanna share with you guys today. And as we scroll through all of these options, we're kind of looking for something that is fun but also very professional because that is something that our client would desire for their video. This one right here seems to fit that mood pretty well, so we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Right here is where you can click to download the template, but we already have it downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over to Premiere Pro. So now that we've jumped over to Premiere Pro, Amber, would you like to take over and show everybody how you can take one of these templates and tailor it to your project? Yes, I would love to. Great, it's all yours. Yay, all right. So now that we're in Premiere Pro, I this is a project that has already been edited. So I'm just gonna start a new sequence and show initially how you just import the motion graphic into your project. So you go over to your essential graphics panel and you hit browse. You can see that Adobe has a lot of options already for you, but if you wanted something new, you can go to the library, download it and import it into this space. It used to be that you import it from the top right hand corner, but it has changed since the last update and now it's down at the bottom right hand corner. And you click it, it says um, to install here and you just go into your folders, find the template you downloaded. I've actually already downloaded it. So I'm gonna hit cancel on this piece and find where it is at, and right here, this is what we initially wanted to download, and all you have to do is click it, and you drag, and you drop. It's as easy as that. So now that we've dragged this into the project, I know that a lot of our clients do have brand guidelines that need to be followed when we are creating a project for them. So how can you take this motion graphics template and make it fit with the company's guidelines. There's actually a lot of different ways, and this is actually new the new features I was talking about with Premiere Pro. In the past, you weren't able to change the color. Sometimes it was more difficult to change the font, but now they have changed it and made it so easy. So you tell me, Stone, do you want me to, what do you want me to change first? I think the first thing you should change is the name and the title. That's probably the most important chunk of information in a lower third. Yeah, that's true. So all you have to do is you go over to, instead of browse, like I said before, you go to edit. You make sure that your lower third is highlighted. You click text, go to line one, and that's where your name can go in. So for this project, 
we'll type in the name of the person and then you can go click on line two, change the name, the title of the person, just like that. And I love how fast it is. There's no stutter, it's just so fast. Yeah, that's immediate, that's amazing. So now I know that companies will also have a specific font that they would want you to use. Mm -hmm. With these templates, can you change the font? You can, and that is something, that was the one thing that in the past kind of held me up with templates, which it doesn't anymore, because I wasn't able to change the font. Right. So the fact that Adobe Stock allows you to do that is so cool. It's amazing. Yeah. So let's just use a Bayboss. Isn't that what this client used? Yes, they yeah. love a Bayboss. Yeah. And that actually looks, I think that looks really sharp. Yeah, that's very nice. And now I think maybe that red doesn't entirely fit with this client. Maybe we should use the colors from their logo. Yeah, you are correct. So how you do that, how you change the colors, you go to your global controls and then you hit style and go to color one or two. I like the white, so I'm gonna keep the white. I'm gonna change this to their hex code that they have in their font or that they have in their logo. And there you have it. Look at that. All right, and there we have it. Wow, now that was fast, easy, and simple. Yes. Had I tried to create something like that on my own, it could have taken me anywhere between two to five hours, and we just did that in under five minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, we do not. <laughs> And with a company of our size, it's definitely important that we take advantage of these Adobe Stock Motion Graphics templates because it saves us time and it also saves us money. Yeah, and hopefully you guys were able to learn how to install your motion graphics into your project and give it a little style for your clients' needs. Stay tuned for part three of our series. We'll be showing you how to install some stock footage into some text. See you guys in part three.